let us take the second example instead of a diagram they will give the notations so let m is equal to q0 q1 comma 0 1 comma tilde q0 1 so those are all five parameters are there so you mentioned the parameters q sigma tilde s0 f so this is the given nfa where they will give the transition functions q0 0 q0 1 q1 1 they are giving three functions of nfa and construct dfa so how can we solve it the solution is first you write that five uh, tuples and you separately mention the answers so let us take the first parameter as qn which is already given as q0 q1 sigma n is 0 1 s n is q0 f n is q1 so these are all five parameters then in step one is possible subset calculation of dfa so the formula is qd is equal to 2 power mod qn here only qn contains two states are there so 2 power 2 it is 4 so there are four possible states are available so therefore possible dfa states are qd is equal to pi or q0 square bracket of q1 otherwise square bracket of q0 q1 either we can be able to get these four states otherwise we may be able to get one or two from it so this is possible states in step 2, the starting state of NFA is Q0 which is already given in the fourth parameter of the given NFA. Same thing will be applied for DFA state because starting state of DFA is equal to starting state of NFA. But that DFA state should be mentioned within square bracket. So I write the starting state of DFA within square bracket. So square bracket of Q0. Now, what is the... Uh, transition flow of those starting states in NFA. We should uh, write it from the given so, uh, given question. So you take the question. So here this is the starting state with Q00 and starting state Q01. So you write the answers. The same answer should be written within square bracket because those are all be considered as DFA starting states. So this is the answer. So uh, Finally, you draw the transition table in which the starting state is mentioned as square bracket of Q0. This is the resultant DFA starting state. So, Q0, 0 is 1 is Q0, Q1 and Q0, 1 is Q1. So, these are all new states. I am not calculating these two states previously. So, I should write those states separately. The first state is Q0, Q1. The second state is Q1. Okay. Now you calculate those values. So tilde D of I should calculate Q0, Q1 with the input symbol. One input symbol is 0 and another input symbol is 1. Okay. Then uh, now you check the answer from the given NFA state. What is the answer Q0, 0? Q0, 0 is Q0, Q1. What is Q1, 0? There is no answer for Q1, 0. It is pi. So, the only the answer is Q0, Q1. Now, you check the answers from the resultant NFA state. Q0, 1 is Q0. Q1, 1 is Q0, Q1. But Q0 is already available. So, it is not right more than once. You only write it as it is. So, this is Q0, Q1. So, for Q0, Q1, the same state is maintained for both 0 and 1 input symbol. So, I write here. So, this is not a new state. It is already available in a predicted DFA state. So, ignore it. So, the next uh, DFA state should be calculated as Q1. So, square bracket of Q1, the input symbol is Q0 and the next input symbol is one so check the value q10 there is no states are there so it is an empty state you can put dash q11 the answer is q0 q1 this is the resultant dfa state so that should be written within square bracket so there is no state for zero and for this one the answer is q0 q1 so these are all already available that's all then what is step three 
Step 3 is final state calculation. So the NFA final state is Q1. So wherever Q1 is available, Q1 is available in the second state, Q1 is available in the third state. So these two states should be considered as final states. So therefore, FD contains two final states. One is square bracket of Q0, Q1. Another final state is Q1. Okay. Then step 4, draw the DFA transition diagram. So the initial state is Q0. If I 0, it goes to Q0, Q1. If I put 1, it goes to Q1 state. Now we refer the second and third state. This will be marked as star. So these two are final states. So that should be mentioned within double circle. So for Q0, Q1, the same answer will be available for both 0 and 1. So I put only single path with two values. From Q1, it goes to Q0 to Q1 with the input 1. Here you check it out. The answer of NFA contains more than one output state, but the answer of DFA contains only single output state. Okay, are you clear about it? So next I give the shortcut method for calculation of NFA to DFA without using these steps. It's only for your understanding purpose, but in your exam you should write these steps only. Okay, so now the third problem, I only give the shortcut method. The input symbols are 0 and 1. There are four states are there, PQ, RS, in which Q, S, R, final states. This is the given NFA. So the answer is P, S, Q, R, Q, R, S, S, dash P. So how can you calculate it DFA? It is a shortcut method. It's only for verifying your answer is correct or not. For that purpose only you should use the shortcut method. But in the for writing the answer in your university exam you should use the previous steps. Okay. So this is the DFA transition table. So what do you say your starting state here? You should write the starting state of NFA. It is P. And the final state of NFA are Q and S. So you should write it. So I write the same state here. So what are all the values available in the starting state? You should write within square bracket in DFA transition table. Okay, this is the DFA transition table. So square bracket of Q. So these are all new resultant value. So you write it here first. Okay, then you should refer P0 and S0 answers from the given NFA table. You combine those values and write it within the single square bracket. Okay. What is P00 value? P00 value is PS. Then check S0 value. S0 value, there is no values there. Only PS is the answer. Then you write P1. S1, combine those values and write it in a square bracket. What is P1? It is Q. S1 is P. So instead of writing QP, you write it as an alphabetical order. So the answer is PQ. It's only for verification purpose. Okay. So for P1, the answer is Q. For S1, the answer is P. In an alphabetical order, I write it as PQ. This is the new st DFA state. So I should write the DFA state here. Then Q. Only single state is there. The answer is already available. You write the answer directly. This is the new DFA state. So write here. Don't forget to write these states in this notation. Okay. Then refer PQ of 0. So P0 is PS. Q0 is R. So you write it in an alphabetical order. P R S. Yes. Then P1 answer, Q1 answer, combine and write it, the answer is QR. Now PRS, it is not available here, so you write PRS. QR, it is already available. Okay, then R, R answer is yes. S is a new DFA state, so write here. Then refer Q0, R0 value and combine it. Q0 value is R, 
R0 value is yes. So the answer is RS. Q1 value is QR, R1 value is yes. So combine those values, the answer is QRS. So you refer whether these two states are available in the list. So RS is not available, QR is not available. So you write those states here. Okay. Then the next state is PRS. So you should refer P0, R0, S0 value and combine the answer is PS. P1 value, R1 value, Q1 value combine and write it as PQS. Okay, and then S value, there is no value here, it is P, refer PS is already available, yes, it is available, PQS, there is no PQS, so write here. So uh, for verification purpose only, I write it in an alphabetical order, okay. So for R S, R S, the answer is yes. R S of 1, the answer is P S. So S is already available, P S, you check it, it's available. Then Q R S, you combine Q 0, R 0, S 0 value, the answer is R comma S. Then combine Q 1, R 1, S 1 value, the answer is P Q R S. So check RS is already available, PQRS is not available, so write here. Then PQ, combine PQ, the answer is PRS. Combine PQ, the answer is QR. So PRS is already available, QR, QR is also already available. Combine PQRS, the answer is PRS. At right side, the answer is PQRS. That's all. PRS, PRS is already available. PQRS is also already available. So this is the resultant value. So how many uh, states are there? Mod QN is 4. What are the possible QD states? 2 power 4 means 16 possible states. But how many uh, DFA states are predicted? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Only 12 DFA states are available. So you draw the DFA transient table in which you should mention the final state. So what are the final states? Q and S. So wherever Q and S are available, you should mention that is a final state. So here S is available. So you mark it as final state. Q final state. Q final state. Then Q. Here S is available. So these are all marked as final states. So how many final states are there? Nine final states are there. So corresponding transition diagram, you try to refer it. Okay, thank you.